as a Belmont. Uh, I'm going to be curious. How do you anticipate that this matchup is about to go Banjo, uh, given what you know about these players and these characters? Well, uh, Kimberly, the big problem with Kimberly is that she just doesn't have any just, you know, strong, strong reversal tools, as we know. Definitely has one of the best mixes in the game, of course, but crossover, you know, in the hands of that DJ just has just about everything and the damage output to boot. So we're going to see cash outs from level three from Belmont very, very often just because you need the extra speed and, of course, the extra damage just to make sure you can get that little, that small edge over the character character matchup but crossover is very very optimal uh, from a player to player matchup uh a player to player matchup um uh, perspective but that up kick very very uncharacteristic and... yeah that's that's a real shame and so i i like what you said i bring it up all the time how critical i think for a kimberly player the earlier you can cash out that level three the better as a belmont electing to spend uh, a super bar in that round just to be able to ensure that they can take an earlier lead in the set obviously it is a three out of five wow perfect parry not into the back throw playing not for positioning but for damage and now the teleport mix is starting there's a lot of layer one shimmy happening here i'm going to be really yeah. intrigued to see when and if crossover starts trying to poke through it Yep, we see that Belmont, like, you know, if I can't get the damage, then I definitely have to get the, the Oki or the or the positioning at the very, very least. And we see that coming to fruition right here, but the punish counter off of the whiff up kicks once again from crossover, gonna be into the corner. Now you kind of get it, you know, you have to guess against this two whiff grabs, but Belmont Ooh. gonna be able to, uh, excuse me, crossover gonna be able to fight back out of the corner a little bit. Yeah, that was a really scrambly situation. Having a really hard time dealing with these knee drops as well here is Aza Belmont. Nice poke. Weren't these two characters in, uh, uh, I think it was Zykles retweeted it, where it was complaining about the hitbox hurtbox interactions of DJ oh, versus yeah, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, tweet yeah. happened today. And here we are <laughs> with Belmont uh, on the back foot. Hey, Zykles. Uh, another friend of the show, another kickback participant. Maybe you should be watching this one. Clearly, there's something else happening here that uh, Aza Belmont is uh, maneuvering through these hit hurtbox interactions a little bit differently. Perfect parry, wanted for the back throw, but not quite in time to get it for the positional advantage. Yeah, man, once again, we see like what we saw earlier. Just uh, uh, some players playing a little bit uncharacteristically, but uh, Aza Belmont literally just controlling the pace of the game in a very, very big way. And good defense I, I i like the idea that like you know belmont isn't willing to commit to anything unless they get like unless they get the hit they're like like not gonna majorly commit to anything but here we go crossover gonna be able to get the throw right here and gonna try to control the space with the projectile right here okay All right nice pick up for crossover we're gonna be able to get around here for ourselves is a belmont uh, staring down the barrel of this being evened up. We're gonna have to see how are they choosing to navigate through this neutral. A lot of patience and respect happen. Oh, we fixed it. Did he just call out that? Okay, good. No, oh my seven. god. Here we go. Gonna be a level three right here. All right. Wall slump comes in. Balmont trying to stay in the driver's seat. Nice anti air. Stays on the left side. Here we go, good throw, and the DI into the splat, just cool, and that's going to be a possible level one. Oh, yeah! DJ. All right, keeping that pretty close. I need Banjo playing in the BGM. I, I don't know what, I don't know which of these two asks out of JB I want to ask a question about first. The Brad ASMR or the Banjo BGM? Uh, all right. Well, anyway, we are here. Uh, one, uh, we can, and we are at one game apiece here. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I know what to do. It's if it's an FGC SMR. Hold on. And we have... Put the bust out. Oh yeah. 
And I, I can get the banjo kazooie going on the jukebox in a little bit. But the beats definitely not in crossover's favor right here. Great. Great hurricane kick coming out from Belmont and Belmont trying to just stay in control right here. Oh yeah, can I get the sway right back. here? Yeah, back sway low connect. That's critically important here for crossover, but the wake up super do I have the rhythm? Oh no, it was blocked. Here we go, DI oh, into God, the corner I right here. That. Oh god, I DI'd that. <laughs> I am, I am strangely uh, soothed by this. <laughs> no, I'm done with it. That was it. <laughs> I, I could not continue it anymore. I hit on God, I DI'd that, and then that was that. Uh, <laughs> Belmont gets the better of a low poke trade and gets the better of that two to one now. Yeah, JB, this is your fault. I actually have no idea how far behind the Twitch stream is uh, compared to chat. Here we go. But in any case, oh, okay. Crossover with the crossover. Uh oh, just going to the corner. Little Sobot in the up kicks. What's the mix right here? Oh, killing the friends right there and getting the grab for the punish counter and just more Ooh. plus frames on their side. Crossover says, look, man, we, we need to go into a game five. I've had enough. Yeah, you're they, not gonna, uh, you're they not gonna mix me to death. No, absolutely. And I feel like there's a there's an element of passivity. The fact that Kimberly doesn't have a great reversal option outside of committing a uh, super bar means that it can feel a little bit easier to bully her when you're in that plus frame situation because everything she's taking has that bit of an inferred risk uh, the risk of being smoked rather than the risk of yeah. them calling you out for trying to bust out okay ex run into slide Belmont has despite the drive gauge differential never mind Punish counter is huge, but a combo drop here from crossover. Belmont's in control. Belmont trying to bring this into a game. They're trying to bring this into a final round situation. Does get the command throw off this. And here we go. We see crossover fighting back, but the jab to try to stop the drive rush. And yeah, trying to get a pickup. Not going to be able to find it here. Belmont Ooh, mm. with the OD wheel kick. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Here we go with the final round. Why, it's interesting, these are two characters that both have the ability to alter that jump arc in a way that can be really difficult to deal with. Difference is, DJ has a couple of reliable anti-airs, and I feel like Kimberly... Well, actually, no, I like Kimberly Crouching Fierce. As I talk through all of that level three coming out here for crossover, uh, this should bring the drive gauge differential away, and it gives a really healthy life lead for crossover. And crossover still with the punish counter and the... Dance moves do not stop crossover. Gonna be able to take this into a game five situation. Belmont could not stop the momentum that DJ Cook was providing just earlier. And literally, okay, a little anti off the uh, off the Tatsu right there. And DJ just such a good job of attacking your drive gauge. I feel like a lot of the ways that he can safely end his strings just leave you in a spot where you're really afraid to, afraid to counter poke, but you're afraid to parry pump as well because it's a little yeah. bit nebulous. And all of this happens in a spot where you're not parrying to choose to block. Uh, so you end up losing a lot of drive gauge to some big special moves crossover. However, uh, ending up on the back foot in terms of a drive gauge situation, we're back to neutral a little bit. What a great anti-air from Belmont. Incredible parry right there to get in the corner. Now the up kicks. Now we play this waiting game. Uh, that, uh, that oh, pump no! was crazy. No. Here we go. Going to be able to get the wall splat right here. And oh, I love the reset, reset into DI. Here we go. Belmont trying no to hang on for dear life right here. Oh no. Is he gonna be able to get the level three? Oh no, he barely no. got the critical art, but still, he's gonna be able to get it right here. And crossover gonna be able to hang on after that offensive flurry by Belmont in the corner and is gonna be able to go into Winner's semifinals against Knuckle Dude. No, there's Wait, another I, round. I'm you got lying. so ahead of yourself. I got Pinto. so ahead, bro. Oh my god, bro. God damn it. Uh, 
Okay, jab pick up, because here's what I was going to say. If I had to love you a critique against crossover, it's that you could have probably picked up with a different combo in that situation. Belmont now going to be able to cash out a level three comparatively early. If you level three right now, it also puts crossover into burnout. This is so huge. You're only down one bar. You have a huge drive gauge advantage and the life lead and a positional advantage. You're bringing this to a round three, game three. I'm so, so afraid for crossover on how huge this momentum swing is about to be. But the bust out, yeah, I'm bringing this back to neutral. This is not the story I want told. Here we go, gonna be able to block and get the up kicks after the, the tech grab. <laughs> gonna oh! get the DI, ain't no way. He gets the level two, but do you have the rhythm on? And crossover says, hey, you was right. Oh, I am going into win the semifinals. All right, I take it back. You just called it around early. Yeah. You know, I was just, uh, I was a little overzealous. I ain't gonna lie, but no. <laughs> oh, real shame too, because that was off a crouching jab. Belmont had the opportunity for a DI cancel there. I don't know what they were watching for. It was a naked jab. There wasn't a cancel after it. You could have even, uh, it, Kimberly, I assume Kimberly's jab is crouch, uh, jab is crouch, cancel chainable too many words uh i imagine you could have buffered like triple jab into elbow or something even if you just wanted to mash for hitboxes there yeah, were so many uh, options there the notion of wake up jab into nothing there maybe the frame advantage situation was a little bit different than i'm interpreting